What's up guys, Mason the Brock Anderson here, and this is Bones, Season 12, Episode 2, The Brain and the Bot. And Bones is back! And by Bones is back, I don't mean, like, it's back, because, you know, it was back last week. But by that I mean Season 11, Bones is back! You know, the, uh, the formulaic, really boring, really predictable Bones? Yeah, that Bones is back! <laughs> and what makes it even better is my internet sucks, so just like with elementary, I got to watch it in clip by clip as it froze and froze and froze, and it's just so great. <laughs> I'm losing my freaking mind. But yes, this was back to season 11 bones. Just really boring, really predictable. Well, kind of predictable. I will admit that I didn't predict who the actual killer was because... It ended up being even more, like, like I, I figured they were going Bones formula, which would mean it had nothing to do with the whole robot thing. I thought it was going to be the girl that they met at the very beginning when they went to the company. There's going to be some sort of romance between them, and that's what caused the, the killing. But in this case, it makes even less sense because it's the very first person we met, which... I haven't seen that done in a long time on Bones, but yeah, they went back to that. The very first person we meet has nothing to do with the robot stuff at all. Like, it, they just sort of met at one point. And apparently this guy was just so high off his ass that he completely forgot killing him, I guess. Like, <laughs> I, I wasn't even real. I was kind of half paying attention when they started questioning him. But then at one point, like, it, it, they ask him about his knife, and he goes like, Oh, and like, wait, did you just remember that you killed him and now all of a sudden you realize that's what they're asking you about? Like, what is this guy in it? Well, obviously he was an idiot, but I don't know. It just, once again, it had nothing to do with the robot itself, with the guy being a total dick according, well, I'm sorry, to keep it family friendly, a total dink. <laughs> Isn't that funny? He said dink instead of dick. <laughs> Oh, this mm, this show it sometimes makes me want to rip my brain out and just stomp on it. Cause honestly, this is what the show feels like is doing to my brain. It's it's so easy to it's so easy to figure out. So easy to figure out exactly what's going on. You know, there's a guy who they figure out that apparently he got punched in the back of the head. They meet a guy who has his wrist bandaged. Guess what? He punched him in the back of the head. Guess what? That doesn't mean anything. He didn't kill him. They find out another guy apparently took a baseball bat to him at one of these things that he was speaking at before he died. They find him. Guess what? He runs away from the FBI. Guess what? That doesn't mean anything. He still didn't kill him. It's so simple. And at some point I'm thinking, you know what? They're probably even going to do the cliche of the robot attacked him. At one point they figure out the robot apparently did something. Like, I don't even know. It was so rushed by. It was just so like, oh... It looks like the robot may have attacked him. They bring him in to question the robot, or bring her in to question the robot, and they ask it a few questions, somebody shuts it down, and then that just kind of went nowhere. And the next thing you know, they're figuring out about the knife that killed, that, like, cut off his head almost, and that's what led him to the guy who actually did it. I'm just like, what was this all about again? And then on top of all of this, you know, if that wasn't bad enough, if the case wasn't bad enough, you look at the personal life stuff going on in our characters and side characters and I don't think I've seen one episode hold so many side stories outside of a case but this one did as much as they possibly could you have Daisy trying to get into this NFL thing that Brennan she wants to use Brennan as a reference you've got Angela winning this award that Brennan all of a sudden gets jealous for so now you've got kind of two stories going on there. You've got Brennan planning her own surprise party for some reason, which is really weird. You've got Booth trying to figure out, does he get her a gift? You've got her, I guess, worrying about Zack and his court case coming up soon. You've got her dad showing up out of nowhere. and Probably the only interesting thing about it, because at the end there's something going on with him. Uh, I don't know, he has a very interesting story that they haven't tackled in many, many seasons. So maybe... Some of his criminal past is going to come back in, and that'll be interesting, but you got his story going on. You've got Hodgins losing an eyebrow for some reason, and that story just added so much, didn't it? 
And then you've got Daisy and Hodgins, their little side story going on because they don't really get along, but she's trying to confide in him, and you know he's got his leg thing going on, and so that's they're, they're using that as kind of a, a parallel between the two of them. So yeah, all of these side stories going on, and just got so cluttered. Like I, it felt like it was jumping back and forth and back and forth. And there's even one moment where Booth and Brent are in a car. And they're talking about one thing. I can't remember what they started talking off, uh, started talking about. But next thing you know, they're talking about the robots, and they're talking about. But a robot can't have a soul. And all of a sudden, a song comes on. It's like, yeah, I like this song. This is our song. It's got soul. And they start singing along with. It. I'm like, weren't you guys just talking about something else? I think they were talking about Zach's court case at the time. I'm like, weren't you guys just talking about something that was important? How did we get here? You were over here and then you were having to take like a boat a train a plane all the way over here to how the scene ended writers take a minute look over the scene again and again and ask yourself does this make sense because I guarantee you you're probably gonna say no it doesn't make any sense the writing was awful the Jumping, jumping everywhere from case to side story to side story to case to case to side story to side story. It was awful. I could hardly follow it. The case was stupid. None of the side stories were that interesting. You kind of, I mean, the only thing that kind of was okay was the fact that at the end of all of this, you find out that Brendan apparently the whole time was just acting. You know, like she was acting like she wasn't going to recommend Daisy, and she was acting like she was jealous of Angela when in fact. She was the one that recommended both of them for these, you know, Daisy's job and Angela's reward, award. She recommended both of them. That's the only thing that kind of made up for it. Because at least you find out, okay, so she wasn't actually jealous. And she wasn't actually being her typical, like, harsh self whenever it was coming to Daisy. She was just acting that way. I guess that's okay. I guess that makes that okay. But that doesn't make up for the rest of the episode, which is just god-awful. Uh, I hate the fact that they they went back to being so poor. There was no Zach Addy at all in this. They talked about him, but he wasn't involved, which is really disappointing because I was hoping he was going to come back into the season, and now it feels like he's just going to be a guest appearance now in probably like the first episode and then the last two episodes maybe. I just I don't understand. I don't understand why they they managed to have such a good beginning to the season, such a good episode to kick it off. And then they go back to just the same old stupid crap that makes me facepalm, get frustrated, and then the internet stopping, that makes me even more frustrated. It's rage-inducing. It really is. I, d I don't get it. <sighs> but, like I said, maybe something interesting going on with B Brennan's dad. You know, he, he was one of the more interesting stories in the first, I, I think, like, five seasons. You know, his story... The fact that he was a criminal, the fact that he was still alive in the first place, all of that was very interesting, and how they handled it was very well done. But then at one point, they find you know, the evidence finds him not guilty, and then after that, he's just been a guest appearance, or he's just watching after the kids for for Booth and Brennan, and then that's it. Like, no no other reason for him to be in there except for those reasons, and that is a very poor reason to have him on there. So. Hopefully this season brings back a good reason for him to be on here. So I'm looking forward to that, but the rest of it can just go eat a dink. I can't believe I just made that joke. God, I hate myself. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What did you like and dislike about this episode? Let me know. We can talk about and discuss all that good stuff. Leave a like and subscribe for future Bones reviews. I will see you at the next one.